hey guys welcome back to my channel this is my sweets and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel like this video and also comment down below okay so you guys let's get straight into the video i'm not gonna lie to you there has been a ton of things that were going on behind the scenes and you know you guys are like you know i mean my family so i'm gonna like legit just tell you just a little bit about what's been going on number one i've been working on my dean I've been working on just listening to really good Islamic, I would say, podcasts. Like, I don't know what it was like. I feel like I've stumbled across one podcast. I think you guys really need to watch it. Um, it's called um, Talk Ya Ha or something like that. It's like a new podcast that came out and it talks about real issues. Like real issues that you are probably thinking in your head but they're actually saying it out loud and they're actually having like proper conversation. I've literally been working on myself. I've been like legit listening to Muslim podcasts, just learning more about the religion. I don't know what it was, but I just fell in love with just learning about Islam and just like hearing youths just like the same age as me talk about certain things. And it's kind of like, wow, it's actually quite inspiring seeing people my age or even a bit younger like i'm pretty sure these boys were like 22 and they were talking about society's really like corrupted a lot of minds and i feel like i was like one of the ones that was corrupted that was like going on a different path and it's kind of like i didn't like the path that i was going on because it was like i was basically moving away from the religion and not really closer to the religion when that's really what you're supposed to be doing and i kind of like sensed it within myself and i never used to like say anything never used to talk about it because i used to felt like feel so ashamed about what was happening and i didn't really want to seek help and all these things were going on and it's just mental things you know like but like alhamdulillah like i was able to like seek help and like speak to my family and speak to my friends and just you know what i mean like little did i know that there's a lot of people around me that were feeling what i was feeling and they just weren't talking about it and it was kind of like wow it's great having that support having to talk to people but anyway guys i'll talk about that like another time when i'm like you know i mean fully prepared to talk about this topic but yeah guys i've been listening to podcasts i've been having therapy sessions yes i've been going to therapy sessions i can't even hold this like should i just put it down I don't even know if i should put it down but yeah i've been going to therapy sessions i've been like working on my inner soul everybody's basically got trauma i've realized that i've not been dealing with my trauma and not dealing with trauma does not really work well when you're trying to move forward with your life so i feel like i was moving forward in my life a lot of things were falling into place alhamdulillah but i just felt like there was just something missing and i knew kind of what was missing so it was dean there wasn't like a lot of presence of the dean in my life like if i'm gonna be real like i was not really focused on the dean as much as i should be like legit like all this worldly desires all these different things got to me a bit and i just had to like legit sit back reflect quarantine bro like got you reflecting quarantine i just sat back was watching podcasts listened to podcasts and I was just thinking, subhanAllah, what have I been doing all this time? And I'm talking five plus years. Like, what have I been doing when I should have been focusing on the deen? I don't know, like, I feel like I kind of, like, shocked myself. And that shock, like, basically did help because it got me thinking, it got me reflecting. But it really got me thinking, like what's going on like what's going on in my life like why am i not putting the dean first so those questions are really important for me to answer and i i keep a diary of like everything so i i was kind of i kind of like diary write like i write what i'm feeling in my diary i don't even call it a diary it's like a diary slash business book slash whatever i want to write kind of thing so it was just kind of like all over the place but yeah guys subhanallah like i was not focused on the dean my mind was like just elsewhere. Like I was like so focused on achieving other goals that Allah wasn't even on my mind that much. And I feel ashamed to say that guys. I really feel ashamed to say that, but I'm out here like legit wearing a hijab, but I'm not really doing the actions that come with the hijab. Do you get what I mean? Like 
I know it kind of like works differently with people like some people do this some people do that but I've never really been strong with the religion that's another thing like I've always been that kid that you know what I mean the mom and dad is trying to get them to pray and they just hope that they fall in line and just things like that so it's just really important to sit back reflect and look at your life from like someone else's eyes like what is it that you think is going right what is it that you think is going wrong all these different things like i know my content is usually like centered on teaching and gosh guys i have a lot to catch you guys up on about teaching abroad and and especially with the with the housing aspect i'm gonna make a whole video about that but i can't do it right now because i am tired guys like what i've been doing today like i legit cleaned up the whole house like i did deep cleaning i did washing like yo guys i feel like a housewife but i'm not even a housewife but you know what i mean everything comes in preparation and it honestly and truly guys reflecting therapy and like really connecting with my therapist and guys when i tell you sometimes i just felt so embarrassed sometimes i felt like oh my god i don't really want to talk about this because it's really embarrassing like i don't recognize the person that i was when i'm talking about these things it's like the things that i've done in the past or have been okay with people doing to me in the past like guys that person and me right now is like two different people and you know what like alhamdulillah like this comes with the process of like maturing you know what i mean getting older and you know what i mean getting wiser but yo like i literally allowed so much bs to happen in my life and i was just like that nice person and it's like you can't always be nice like you really cannot always be nice like there comes a time where you have to be firm and i was really like looking into like the muslim podcast and there's this girl i think it's called muslima speaks i don't know what i don't know what the name of she's on spotify and i kind of like was just scrolling through found her there was one that was titled was it titled again um what if he's refusing to move forward and i'm like let me just listen to that one the way she was talking about how we should actually approach marriage and there's only one way one halal way to approach this marriage situation it just got me thinking like this whole time i've been doing it wrong this whole time like being in this relationship and all of these different things i think back to myself and i'm like stuck for allah marian stuck for allah i mean it's great like you know what i mean i'm it's not that i didn't know it's a haram if that makes sense but it's like i'm realizing my actions if that makes sense it's like you know when you're like stuck in a bubble a love bubble like you're enjoying life you're loving everything and you don't really want to like you know what i mean see reality because reality is going to kill everything and blah, 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 blah. no and i've realized that all this time guys i was so scared to face reality like I would avoid it so bad to the point where i don't recognize myself and i was just like thinking to myself like why was i okay with these things why did i let certain things happen why was an I firm? I like all these things, but obviously, like, subhanAllah, everything happens for a reason. And it was more so me questioning my behavior because I don't recognize this behavior that I was portraying. Yeah, like, Alhamdulillah, like, ever since I've basically left that situation, can't describe the feeling. Like, I just felt so relieved, you know? I felt so relieved. And, like, obviously, there's like a lot to the story and i'm not really confident in talking about this on youtube obviously I might even cut it out because i feel like i'm being too personal but i just want you guys to know that if you're struggling with the dean if you're struggling with mental health or if you're struggling with just like talking to people about what's going on in your life or trauma just know that you're not alone just know that there's a lot of us that are going through the same issues that are in that healing phase and working through their issues and i'm one of them and i'm not scared to say that i'm one of them and 
alhamdulillah like i'm happy that i have time in the day to really journal and really think about certain things and you know what i mean attend therapy sessions that's been really helpful like 100 percent, guys if you haven't already i would say really try to get some therapy um everybody needs it and yeah like i know like before i used to like think of it like the finance aspect it's kind of like bro like you spend like 200 pounds or even less like on i don't know like other things you know and i would rather i see like my like my mental health or just me growing as a person as a bigger investment to myself so i'm basically doing something that my future self will be happy for you know what i mean will be proud of because this is really important to me and i really do want to heal i really do want to get through things that have been you know what i mean like stopping me from progressing and alhamdulillah like i feel like i'm finally at a place where i'm actually fully content not fully content but like fully content the road that i'm on and really like looking into the dean and all these different things like working together simultaneously has been amazing like you can legit just tell from how i'm talking that you have to take that step forward you have to say that you want it you have to say that you want to change you have to like do what you have to do to get your knowledge to get yourself to get your like physically mentally like emotionally spiritually you need to get yourself together and it will never be someone else's responsibility to look out for you like you always have to put yourself first you always have to think about like what's missing like what do i need to do alhamdulillah like, i feel like i'm working through things like a step at a time and my therapist is really helping me she's like really being supportive listening like it's been amazing and yeah guys so that's been that's what was going on and yeah i'm actually moving and i'm moving because i want to live with people now i feel like i'm ready to live with my girls like i feel like i've done the whole what you call it taking it easy getting my own space even i'm gonna miss this place getting my own space and having my own apartment and you know what i mean doing things the independent way i feel like i tasted independence now that i've tasted it i want to go back to saving because guys having your own apartment abroad like if you like if you're anything like me i have a standard to things so my standard was always like quite higher like i can't i can't live like in a basic standard place like it has to be quite like it has to be nice it has to have like some nice decor something you know something needs to be going on so my place is quite expensive the whole reason why i'm here is so that i'm saving and that is really like you know what i mean taking a lot of my money even though it's all inclusive but guys for the area that it's in it's like a really high price and i never really looked too deeply into this matter until like this month when i had a conversation with one of the girls and they were like how much do you pay again and i told them how much i paid they were like whoa for that area are you being serious and i'm like yeah and then they were like why don't you just move in with us like you guys i'm not gonna lie to you I'm basically paying £1,000 less if I'm moving with my friends. So you can imagine how much I'm paying. So I'm basically like saving £1,000 every month to move in with my friends. And I just thought, you know what? I really need to focus on, even though I've been saving and I've got like good savings, but I really need to focus on saving because I'm not I'm not supposed to be out here like living it up like I'm so, like I have goals and sometimes I feel like when I make certain decisions it doesn't really help my goals even like my family like when I told them the price and where I'm living and all that BS they were like Marianne why do you have to go do things like that like why do you have to go 
and get like a place that's gonna cost a lot of money and it's like yeah but i want to feel good in my apartment like i just i guys me and comfort like go hand in hand like comfort is something that i just like i just love comfort so yeah like there's no you know what i mean like i don't regret the time i've been here i'm not even gonna lie to you but i feel like i'm ready to make better choices like i said i'm going through like a process of healing you know what i mean if i want to change something i'm able to change it and i don't need to dwell this is another thing i'm trying to not dwell on things i think of an idea i see if it works if it does work i just keep moving forward with it so this basically happened in a space of a week me making the decision to move out me actually packing up and actually moving out like it all happened within a space of six seven days so you could say that i'm quite what do you call it when someone does everything like uh, what do you call my, my decisions are like quite easy like i i do decisions on the spot and sometimes that's a good thing sometimes that's a bad thing but we haven't established if it's good or bad but i feel like this particular decision that i've taken to move out of my current apartment and move in with the girls because they actually live in a villa in a small villa and yeah it would be great you know like i really get on with them and i've never like sensed any like bad vibes bad anything from them and i feel like i'm gonna be staying with them for like the next like five six months and yeah i feel like we're gonna have fun we also have plans to go to dubai like we have a lot of plans to do a lot of things and also you know like reaching abu dhabi because one of my friends she really wants to go to the chef Zaid mosque and me driving from dubai to abu dhabi mm. you guys know how much i love driving like you guys know i used to do like you know what i mean videos in a car like who remembers that Who's an OG and who remembers me doing videos in a car in Dubai? Vibes, right? It was vibes. But yeah, guys, that was basically like me telling you what's going on. Um, I'm moving tomorrow. They've already done basically the inspection in the apartment. They've checked everything. They checked the taps, if it's working, if it's flushing, the toilet. They checked the bed, they checked the lamps, they checked like the kitchen space. They checked everything, like best believe. Like they will make you work hard for your security deposit. Like, cause I basically paid deposit and I paid the rent. So yeah, that's basically what happened. But yeah guys, let me just show you what this place be looking like. You know, like I've still got like a few things, you know what I mean, on my, table so like let, let. so you know i've got like my stuff here like i've got like my dryer here like all of these different things i've got water here uh, washing machine that's my bed sheet that's a dress that's my bag as well that's rubbish um and yeah like i basically cleaned everything up even in the kitchen like you can see like all of my plates are basically just stacked to the side all i have to do is basically put it in a plastic bag random egg just right there you're right egg yeah um random bags literally all over and that's like my cleaning stuff this is like the majority of what was in the cupboard guys this bit this bit is a whole mess like literally like i have to put all of that in there including this like there is a lot of shit around i'm not even gonna lie to you anyway um i clean everything to the best of my ability look how i be looking like this is how i was looking today yes hunty yes yes anyway enough of me um so yeah i cleaned everything like made it spotless for them do you see everything spotless yeah but anyway guys there was like a little problem right here i don't know if you guys can see where is it like a little line i basically covered it with um was it toothpaste or something and they didn't see the crack but it had a crack so it still has that crack and 
yeah i don't feel sorry because i need my thingy back my security deposit so you guys um, i basically have like a lot to talk about stay tuned and yeah guys i really hope that you've enjoyed my short vlog video whatever i catch up i feel i feel like i'm gonna just name it i catch up but yeah guys stay tuned and inshallah i'll see you all very soon bye